So this is lesson 2-2, two, two, which is point-slope form. Our essential question is what information does the point-slope form of a linear equation reveal about a line? So it says you can write the equation of a line using any point, so x1, y1, and the slope m in point-slope form. So this equation right here is point-slope form. It looks kind of weird. But when you get used to it, it's going to make your life a lot easier because if we think back to the last lesson we did um, where we had to find the equation of a line between two points, this would make it way, way easier. So point-slope form is a nice form to deal with. Um, it just looks a little weird because we're so used to slope-intercept form. Okay, so our first example says a line with a slope of one-half passes through the point three, negative two. What form can you use to write the equation of the line? What is the equation in that form? So this is our slope, it's M, and this is our point X1, Y1. So anytime you're given a slope and a point, point slope form is the best form to use. So again, point slope form is Y minus Y1 equals m times x minus x1. So all we're going to do is we're going to substitute in our, those three letters there. So this would be y minus negative 2 equals 1 half times x minus 3. Now the only other thing I can do here is we have y minus negative 2. So we know that that's going to turn into y plus 2 equals one half times x minus three. So that right there is point slope form um, and it is it is one of the, of the three types that we're going to talk about of forms of linear equations. Okay, so B says what is the equation of the line that passes through negative four one and two three? So this is where it's easier than we did when we were using slope-intercept form. So we still have to find the slope. That is one thing we have to find. So remember, we find the slope by doing y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm going to make this x1, y1, and x2, y2. So we're going to do 3 minus 1 over 2 minus negative 4. So that would be 2 and then 6 because minus a negative is plus. So 2 sixth can be reduced to 1 third. So that means my slope is 1 third and I now have the ability to put it back into po in two point slope form. So when you have two points like this, you get to pick one. So I'm going to show you both ways we could do this. So we could say y minus 1 equals one third times x. It's going to be minus a negative four, so I know it's gonna be plus. So as soon as you are realizing that, you can just go ahead and write it that way. So that's one equation. And then my other one would be y, oops, y minus three equals one third times x minus two. That's using this point right here. Now here's the thing, these look different, but if we were to distribute the one third and then add the numbers to the other side, these two equations are actually equal to each other. So even though they look different in point slope, they are the same equation. So when you're doing this, you can pick whichever point, you don't need to do both of them. So you can pick one point. So you don't need to do both. Okay, so here's our next um, example. It says, what is the graph of y minus 3 equals negative 2 thirds times x plus 1? So we can tell by looking at this that this is in point slope form. So what we want to do is we want to look at the equation and identify what is our slope and what is our point that we have. So we can tell our slope right here that is our m value. So negative 2 thirds is our slope. 
and then our point, the x1 is going to be right here. So because it's plus, I know it's negative 1. And then my y1 is right here. And because it's minus, I know it's positive 3. So it's opposite of what we think, okay? So now what I can do is I can plot this point. So I can go to negative 1, 1, 2, 3. So there's my point. And I can go a slope of negative 2 thirds. So I can go down 2 over 3 and put another point. And there is the, there's my line. Okay, so that is how we graph from an equation that is in point slope form. Now the last thing that we're going to do is a story problem. It says an event facility has a banquet hall that can hold up to 250 people. The price for a party includes the cost of the room rental plus the cost of a meal for each guest. Marissa is planning an event for 75 people. She has budgeted $1,200 for the party. Will it be enough? So what we want to look at with this graph is we want to look at these two points right here. And the reason I'm picking those two points is because this is for 50 people and this is for 100 people and Marissa is planning an event for 75. So we know that that number falls between those two values. So we can kind of write this out. It's similar to the last problem we did. So we can say 50 has cost $725 and 100 costs 1325. So those are two points. So we can take these the graph values and write them as points. So the first thing I want to do is I want to find the slope. So I'm going to take 1320 oops. 1325 minus 725 over 100 minus 50. So if I do that, I get 12. So my slope is 12, and then I have two points to choose from. So I'm gonna pick the top point. So remember we talked about those two equations would be equal. I'm gonna pick the top point just because it's smaller numbers. So this would be y minus 725 equals 12 times x minus 50. So what we have here is we have an equation that's going to help us determine if she's going to have enough um, money to pay for the party with 75 people. So we know that our number of guests is our x value and the cost is y. So we're going to take the 75 and we're going to plug it in right here for x. So we're going to say y minus 725 equals 12 times... 75 minus 50. So that gives us, oops, 725. So if I simplify over here, so that's going to be 12 times 25, which is 300. And then I'm going to add 725 to both sides. And that's going to be, I'll put my answer over here. We're in another space, is going to be $1,025. So that tells us, so she wants to know that she budgeted $1,200. So yes, she will be able to afford the party. Okay, so that's how we can use points and point slope to determine um, different situations.